me give it a try. A conspiracy theory is only a theory until it's proven to be true. But you only see what the new spoon feeds you and only hang with sheep like you. Now, I'm not going to say that every theory is a fact of my opinion. Shit only matter to me. But don't attack somebody else because you lack the mind power to wrap it around the possibility. Let's go. You see, the world that we live in is truly fucked up, so I don't push it past anyone. I look without a biased view. I'll leave the judgment up to you because it seems like you try to troll for fun. So let me give you what you want. I'm going to tell you a number of things, but you really only have to remember two words. Governments lie. <laughs> Very important to remember. Governments lie. I mean, not just the American government. Governments in general lie. Uh, and when I say all governments lie, that may sound like an anarchist statement. The anarchist... No ice around any of these areas, okay? There's North America, South America, Africa, India, Russia, China. Okay, so very similar to this map. <clears throat> North America, South America, Africa, India, China, Russia, okay? Only thing different, Australia. There is no Australia here because it hasn't been discovered yet. This is 1587. Australia wasn't discovered until 1606. So that's why that's not there. But my main question is, if this is a globe flattened out and this is on the bottom, right? What the fuck is this? There's no ice on it. And guess what? Antarctica hadn't been discovered yet. Antarctica was discovered in 1820. And if you look, oh look, there's an alligator. Here's a camel. Warm weather animals. So, you want to explain to me, first thing, what the hell is this? All this land. And second thing, what froze them? What happened between 1587 and 1892 where those areas got frozen? Scientists in Antarctica accidentally unleashed this monster. 
On February 13th, a user named Sonafantor posted this image from Google Earth on the Internet, showing what appeared to be a giant spider. The user described how their father experienced strange events while working as a doctor at McMurdo Base. As the only doctor at the base, the user's father also had to act as a pathologist and often received bodies that seemed to have been attacked by something very large. However, he was always asked to declare hypothermia as the cause of death. When the user's father started to investigate, he realized that his access was gradually revoked and a superior informed him that he would be dismissed soon. However, after the base learned that the user's father had been fired without apparent reason, a soldier recounted how he and his team were attacked by giant spiders while defending a research base, and his entire team was wiped out, leaving him as the only survivor. Small glimpse of what is beyond the ice walls. Bunger leans forward in amazement. His eyes have caught a sudden and unbelievable change in scenery. The universal white is turned to chocolate brown dotted with blue. A cameraman goes into action. 300 square miles of land without snow. Land that might be in New Mexico or Arizona. Pictures alone will prove Bunger has discovered a warm oasis in the shadow of the pole. It is for such supreme moments as this that men brave the hardships of exploration. The astounding undreamed of fact is that they are over a chain of warm water lakes whose shores, except for small patches, are free of ice and snow. Commander Bunger circles the largest lake in sight, five miles long. He comes in to make a landing. Water temperatures must be recorded. Sample is taken. He finds the water fresh, the temperature 38 degrees Fahrenheit. On the shores are vast deposits of coal and of minerals of the utmost importance to civilization. Aside from their headline discovery, Bunger and his men have an they put it in the kids' movies and shows and sent out subliminal messages. And where exactly is giant country, son? Exactly. Where is it? Hey. There. What? There. Gentlemen, your men. But winter is coming. We know what's coming with it. This video right here, I believe, is Game of Thrones. I've never watched Game of Thrones. You have to understand that they put information on movies and shows. They're trying to fuck with you, make it seem like a fairy tale, but you have to understand that Game of Thrones is showing you the truth. And here is Game of Thrones with their ice wall. Because they're trying to get over the- Who built the wall in A Song of Ice and Fire? The wall is a massive, magic-infused ice barrier that separates the Seven Kingdoms from the lands north of the Wall, the home of the Free Folk and the last remaining Giants and White Walkers. The Wall stretches 300 miles and is 700 feet tall at its highest point. According to legend, the Wall was built by Brandon the Builder, the legendary founder of House Stark. Thousands of years ago, after the first long night, he built the Wall with the help of the Giants and the Children of the Forest, who infused the structure with ancient, powerful magics to prevent the I came across this incredible flat earth map from 1587. It was hand drawn by a man named Urbano Monte um, from Milan, Italy. And it is absolutely exquisite. And allegedly it was hidden for over 430 years until it was recently digitized um, in 2017 and added to the David Rumsey a map collection at Stanford University and it is amazing if you want to check it out. It has multiple areas that are denoted as being uh, Tartaria and including incredible, incredible animals such as the unicorn. Okay. And it also denotes regions. This image is located in the UN building includes a map of the Flat Earth UN logo with sun and moon cycles and multiple continents out of the Antarctic ice wall.